Who killed Rita Curran? Burlington police now say they have the answer to the 51-year-old cold case. Police have identified William DeRoos as the man responsible. He lived in the same apartment building as Curran, a 24-year-old teacher who was brutally beaten, sexually assaulted, and strangled inside her apartment on Brooks Avenue in Burlington back in 1971. For decades, the case went cold, but a major break, a piece of DNA evidence discovered at the scene that was kept all these years. Police say it was a cigarette butt found near the victim's body that helped crack the case. They linked that cigarette to William DeRoos. DeRoos had been questioned by police the day Curran's body was found, but they say he convinced his then wife to provide an alibi. Their life plan changes after the murder. He runs off to Thailand, he shows back up in San Francisco, he meets his next wife. And then we see the propensity for violence, unprovoked violence. Given all these information, our, our detective bureau, myself, the chief, we're all confident that William DeRoos is responsible for the aggravated murder of Rita Kern. But because he died in a hotel room of a drug overdose, he will not be held accountable for his actions. But this case will be closed. Police also documented that DeRoos had a history of violence against women, and as you just heard, he died in 1986 from a drug overdose. Our Darren Perrin was at that press conference today and has an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with key detectives and the sister of the victim. You can hear that interview on WCAX starting at 4 p.m.